Hi everybody, this is Coach Joe and we're out here at beautiful Lake Gardens in downtown Kuala Lumpur to talk a little bit about why, why exercise, exercise sucks. sucks. We're here to talk today about the problem with exercise. What do I mean by the problem with exercise? Well, exercise sucks and getting started on exercise program even sucks more. If you go to Coach Google and you type in starting exercise, how much exercise do I need, anything along those lines, you get a lot of really complicated guidelines. You need to analyze your fitness needs, your goals, get tested, maybe hire a trainer. You gotta dedicate at least 30 to 60 minutes in a single session, three or multiple times a week, just to get started. And that's a vigorous, moderate to high intensity activity. You've gotta do a lot of things. Get a gym membership, get equipment, buy running shoes, get your sportswear. And the worst part, you gotta get ready to be sweaty, sore, tired, and uncomfortable. And for most people, that just doesn't sound great. Even if you look at like the World Health Organization and you Google online how much exercise you need, they give you these kind of almost extreme level of guideline. So where did all that information come from? It's not that 30 minutes to 60 minutes is wrong. It's that that information was actually from the 60s and 70s and it's been repeated over and over in some early research on cardiovascular disease. But what it didn't share and what people don't talk about is you don't actually need to do all that to be active and healthy. You can do exercise or activity in a different mindset or platform that can be equally as beneficial. And new research is really coming out that's helping to guide that. The problem with exercise is it sucks. How do you get active? How do you kind of take care of your body? Because everybody knows we need some level of movement, right? Correct. But exercise generally means a compartmentalized training program and a lot of people don't have time for that like I said that's outdated information we don't have time for 30 or 60 minutes in a block so how do we stay active well the first thing we can do is change that word activity with exercise there's kind of a new term that's been used a lot more and more it's actually been around for a while called NEAT instead of exercising do NEAT and NEAT stands for non-exercise activity thermogenesis what that basically means is Non-exercise activity is everything else you do in your day that's active, that isn't exercise. And what research is also showing is this is really effective stuff to be healthy, to get your body moving. It burns calories, helps your blood lipid profile, helps circulation, cardiorespiratory profiles. So for you people that are sedentary, you're not really exercising a lot at the moment, don't exercise but you gotta get neat. So instead of exercising, let's do non-exercise. Let's get to a little bit of neat. And as I said, the research shows that small bouts of exercise over the course of the day are just as effective as a long bout. And who has time? Put your hand up if you've got time to put 60 minutes in your day of exercise right now, including maybe driving to the gym, getting changed and all those things. That's tough to do. But can you do five minutes when you wake up? Can you do five minute walk after your lunch? Can you do a five minute after your coffee break? Can you go to the coffee room the next door at coffee break? And before you go to bed, can you do a little five minute walk and move around your house? Guess what, what I'm doing right now, this is neat. This is neat. This is neat. Whatever it is, just moving is neat. Remember, circulation, movement, all these little things help your health profile tremendously. How much do you need? You kind of need about 10 to 20 minutes a day. That's it. That adds up to about 150 minutes or more in the week. And guess what? That's your world, your world Health Organization and American College of Sports Medicine guideline for exercise. So don't think about compartmentalizing exercise. Find little bouts that you can do during the day of non-exercise activity. So again, do a little more housework, go do a little bit of cleaning, take a walk around the house, pick up some things, whatever it might be. Don't worry about sweating. Don't worry about gym wear. Don't worry about exercise technique. Just get active. And the first place to start, commit yourself to 10 minutes. Five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night. You can do that for a month. You're already ahead of where you were. You're not gonna lose 20 pounds on that, but it is gonna get your body moving better. Once you do that, you can increase it up to 20. And here's the most important part. If you're doing about 20 minutes of light activity throughout the day additional that you're never done, you don't have to do any more. This is where the fitness industry fails because they're always trying to push you to the next thing. Wow, you're at 20, now you can do 30. While you're at 30, now you'll do an hour. And it always becomes more and more and more. Basic good health guideline is 
20 minutes of non-exercise activity a day. It's realistic. You can handle it. It doesn't cost you a cent. And more importantly, it works. It's a little bit of friendly advice on going through that quagmire of information out there on exercise and guidelines. If you do want to do the hardcore sweat stuff, fill your boots, but you don't have to. All right, everybody, I hope that helps. Think about being active, don't exercise, and as always, let's keep moving forward.